There's one thing I, I don't understand. Um, the Big Bang... Yes. <coughs> just one, just one. The Big, <laughs> the big Bang was one, one point in, the, in space. Now, how do we get now, this was uh, billions of years ago, how do we get this background radiation? Isn't the radiation gone away? Like, I mean, if, uh, uh, if one has a, if one drops a, uh, a stone in the pond, then you have the radiation, I mean, the yes. waves, and then yes. they're gone. Yes. If you're in the middle, then, I mean, isn't the radiation gone? Right, okay, so that, that's, you know, one point, drop a stone in the pond. But maybe a, a better um, analogy is um, a raisin pudding in some enormous oven, okay? Um, and you set it to cook, right? And, and, the, and, the, um, and the, the, the pudding expands, right? So as long as you're nowhere near the edge of that pudding, any raisin, you know, will be moving away for every other raisin, right? The whole thing will be swelling. So um, there's an edge issue there, it's true, which we get around in a clever way in the Big Bang, but there need be no particular center, as long as you take my word for it, that there's no boundary issue. And the reason there's no boundary issue is that space is thought to be basically self-contained in space. I mean, you know, we can't get outside space and look at it from the outside. 